Now for this particular part, what I've done is I've copied down the commutative distribution function f of x and we've got to find out what this constant here a is. And there's two ways that spring to mind that you can do this. Remember that f of x always gives us the probability of x, our random variable x, being less than or equal to the observed value x here. Now, we would know that if we took the lower limit, 1, we would expect f of 1 to be equal to the probability that x is then less than or equal to 1. And that probability is always going to be 0 when you go below the lower limit. So what I can do now is just substitute x is 1 into here and equate it to 0 and work out what a is. So if we do that, we therefore have that 1 over 32 multiplied by, I'll just put that in square brackets, 1 over 32 multiplied by a minus 15 times the 1, which is going to be minus 15, plus 9 times 1 squared, that's going to be plus 9, and then minus 1 cubed, so that's going to be minus 1. And that is equal to 0. If we were to multiply both sides by 32, we'd just have the square bracket then equals 0. That would leave us with a minus 7. Therefore, a minus 7 equals 0. So obviously, adding 7 to both sides gives us a equals 7. So you've got that way. I did say there was another way, so we'll just come down on the other side here. And that is that if we took the upper limit, then we've got f of 5 gives us the probability that our random variable x is less than or equal to 5. Now, f of 5, that probability being less than or equal to this upper limit, must total 1. So we've therefore got that f of 5 would equal 1. And we can do much the same kind of thing as we just did over here, only this time substitute x equals 5 into here and equate it to 1 and solve for a. And if we do that, then you're going to have 1 over 32 multiplied by a minus, and I can't really do all of this in my head, so I'm just going to put 15 bracket 5 and then plus 9 times 5 squared minus 5 all cubed and that equals the 1. So if you get on your calculator and work all of this out, we could also times through by 32. So if you did times by 32, just you've got the value in the square bracket here equals 32. And the value in here, this part, comes to 25. So you've got, therefore, a plus 25 equals 32. Subtract 25 from both sides and you end up with a equals 7. Okay, so either way, obviously you're going to get the same answer, a equals 7.